Hello, it's Taco Tuesday, and thank you for joining me, uh, the Hot Pepper Queen, and um, Taco Tuesday. I don't know what you guys are having to eat tonight, but if it's Tuesday, we're having tacos or something that's kind of like tacos. <laughs> So tonight, uh, we are going to have some Mexican sweet potato rice from the South. You know, you can say rice or rice. So I'm, I'm kind of feeling like I need to be like Mr. Rogers. I got to um, put my hair up. Don't want to get in the food. Got to put my hair up. Okay. Put my hair up because we got... We got some cooking to do. <laughs> hey, Tim Carter. We got some cooking to do. Have you been cooking, Tim? Tim's my cooking buddy. So, um, yeah. What, what have you guys been doing? What are y'all eating tonight? Tim, you're a big old chef. Chef Chili RD. Hey, Jerry. <laughs> Barbara. How y'all doing? So glad you're in the house. I feel like Mr. Rogers. I have to take off my vest. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? I want to be your neighbor. <laughs> Only if you're a good neighbor. Only if you're a good neighbor. <laughs> you having a cheeseburger, cheeseburger, Tim? <laughs> cheeseburger, cheeseburger. I had cheeseburgers this weekend. Can't deny a good cheeseburger. But we're not having cheese. Oh, can you believe a Taco Tuesday without cheese? Hard to believe, I know. But, um, yeah, so I decided to go a little more healthy. I've been not eating as good as I should. Uh, my parents are in town from Texas, so we've been eating a lot of meat. Meat, 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 meat. Which, I love meat, but not tonight. We are actually going to do something healthy. Healthy, healthy. Because once in a while you have to go healthy, right? So tonight we're making Mexican sweet potato rice. And what is involved, it's very simple actually. Very few ingredients, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Two large sweet potatoes, a teaspoon, I use um, coconut oil. Um, this is a Pampered Chef recipe. They call for canola oil. When you, when, you, when you use oil, other than olive oil, what do y'all use? Because olive oil, you know, has um, its limitations, although I love it. I'd love to hear what kind of oils you guys use. Okay, one cup of black beans. Already got it measured. I've learned a thing or two. I like kind of get this done ahead of time. Johnny Angel, you're not downloading anything, are you? It says my connection is weak. Sometimes Johnny forgets I'm online and he downloads stuff on the internet. Or on Netflix or something like that. <laughs> Ooh, I love coke. Hey, Summer. I love coconut oil. Yeah, yum, yum. Okay, one cup of canned corn drained. I haven't done this yet because I want to um, show you this funky comadina. <laughs> Tell my age, right? Funky comadina um, pampered chef can opener. Amazing, but a little tricky until you get used to it. I have a cup of vegetable broth. I went to the Harris Teener Day. <sighs> Got that. Nathan, shut the front door. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. And juice of lime, some salt, and a plum tomato. So we're going to rock and roll. I have done... I have riced a couple of the, uh, one of the potatoes because this is the spiralizer. And I'm new. I'm new in Pamper Chef. Those can openers are tricky, especially this one. And this looks intimidating when it's very light. It's the Pamper Chef little spiralizer. And so I wanted to practice before I came on um, <clears throat> on the, the show. And daggone it, it is awesome sauce! <laughs> Let me show you what I've done already. So the instructions are spiralize the sweet potatoes with the spaghetti blade on the veggie spiralizer. I've done that. I've, I've done one. You need two. Let me show And it, it wasn't hard. Yay. So I got my big old pamper chip batter bowl. You can see I've done some and there's two waiting for me to demo to you guys. It looks like carrots. And even as I'm doing it, I'm like, I forget that it's, that it's, it's, it's sweet potatoes, not carrots. Hey. Hey, Gail. Hey, Kit. We're making some Mexican sweet potato rice. Okay, we're doing. We're going a little healthier tonight. Not like wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. This evening, little, little more preparation. So. You do have to peel, hey Patty, woohoo! You do have to peel the sweet potatoes. Well, it's not a big deal, it's super easy. And then I cut them in half, right? Okay. So I've already done one. Look how much. Look, can y'all see? One, this is rice of one sweet potato. That's a lot. So this is going to serve quite, unless it cooks down, I haven't, this is, <laughs> leave it to me. I do it every day on time. I'm expecting company. I try a new recipe every time I want to entertain or I'm having company. Might as well do it live <laughs> on, on the Facebook show. A recipe I've never done, never tried. <laughs> Crazy, crazy like that. But anyways, so we're making rice out of sweet potatoes. How many of you guys have tried a spiralizer or a veggie, me veggie maker? Any one of you guys have one of those at home? I'm going to adjust the camera so that you can see this bad uh, boy in action. All right, y'all bear with me. Let me. Get this over here. So my comments block up a little bit of my view. Come down a little bit. All right, what are you guys having tonight? Uh, my good friend Tim Kreiner's having a cheese booger, cheese booger. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, here we go. We're going to spiralize. Um, we're going to uh, make uh, spaghetti out of a sweet potato. All right. So I'm going to do it like this. Pull this up. Just so you know, I have, there's only one blade. And it's either spaghetti or fettuccine. So it's simple, simple, simple it in here like this. Can y'all see that? Okay, good. Down in there. All right, this is where you get some uh, forearm strength. <laughs> Not really. 
I used to be stronger in the forearms. All right. Okay, we're gonna do some spiralizing. Happy Taco Tuesday, everybody. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, I want you to, all right, so I want you to see this part that's really easy. Right, so I used to have this thing that was like a pencil sharpener and you stuck your zucchini in there and you had to turn it by hand and it didn't work very well. But look at this, guys. See, 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 see. And now I'm gonna turn it around since you get the gist, right? You see how that works so far? But look, on this side is where the spaghetti is coming out. Oh, oh wait, let me get back. Okay, good. All right, good. <laughs> all right, all right, so it's coming out easily, easily. It's a big deal. All right, let's see. Taco Tuesday in my uh, neck of the woods, the kids. Went back to school yesterday. How about in your neck of the woods? Look at this. Isn't this easy? Oh, can you see? Okay, let me like get on the way. Healthy, 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 healthy. If you're wanting to go, hey Sharon, haven't seen you forever. I should get to the gym. Uh, if you want something, if you're like on an, a low carb diet which i try to be this is awesome sauce it's rice without the carbs and this spiralizer has a fettuccine blade and it has a um spaghetti blade have you ever seen sweet potato Look like spaghetti. Mmm. <laughs> if you like sweet potatoes, you don't like this. It's delicious. Okay. Am I done? Nope. Let's push a little harder. So like this. It's not. Uh, let me pin this here. <laughs> So uh, when I was growing up, when my mom made sweet potatoes, <laughs> it was always with, <laughs> it was like the holidays, Thanksgiving, lots of butter, marshmallows, or something like that. Nathan, I love you, honey. I bet you're going to Baltimore. Are you already qualified, sugar? Nathan is my good buddy in the chili world and his son even won first place also in the chili world it's good to have good mentors isn't it honey <laughs> okay i think i'm down to the nitty-gritty so this is look at this is a lot of noodles i'm not of course, I haven't cooked this before. Hey, Jenny. So glad you're here, sweetie. I don't know how this is going to cook down because I decided to do it live on air instead of practicing. But there we go. So, all right, let me pull this up. Can you guys hear me okay? So there's um, some big old... I don't know if you can see. So you got it. Once it gets down too low, you have to change it. It's time for the second half. And then I'm going to show you how easy it is to, with the right tools, to make this, this not spaghetti, but rice. What are y'all having for dinner? 
Jenny, are you cooking? Or is Hummy cooking? I finally came home from the river. I was at the river for 10 days. It's awesome. But always oh, gonna come home, isn't it? <laughs> okay. You see it? Got one half of one big butt potato. All right, here we go. Make sure I got in there good. All right, so I want you to see from this side how it works. Uh oh. And then on this side, <laughs> thank you, Nathan. You need to come visit. We have a ball there. Okay, so we got this. We're going to cost for two. Let's cook down because this is a lot of, this is on the spaghetti blade. Then we're going to cut it into rice. See it coming out? <laughs> okay, good. Woohoo! Nathan, you were a part of my dudes and dames. Lisa Vega! Look at me! I'm using the spiralizer. And <laughs> no food down is allowed. <laughs> and of course, I decided to do a recipe I've never tried before live just like I do when I'm, my anybody comes over <laughs> fortunately I prepared half of it ahead of time and there's my father Huck Hutchins hey Poppy <laughs> thank you Lisa <clears throat> all right All right. Woo! Oh, I can get a little wiggle exercise out of this. Ah! 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 Oh, my head is a Betsy. Oh, my God. It's a lot of, well, I shouldn't say it's a lot of work because this tool makes it all good. It's the spiralizer. And actually works better than that thing was looked like a pencil sharpener that didn't really work okay lord have mercy <sighs> i'm not really sewing it with all that am i all right whatever okay this tool is amazing it's called a salad chopper the recipe, let me move the camera, let's see. The recipe says, use a knife to cut this into rice size pieces. Oh, mm, that, turn this, okay. We could use a knife, but with this bad boy, it's called a salad chopper, but you can cut up chicken. You can cut up lots of things in this. Lots of things. So let me show you how awesome this is. Y'all ready? So I'm cutting up the sweet potato. Oh my God, this thing works so good, y'all. It is called a salad chopper, and I can see this is really cool that I can actually turn sweet potato into rice. Oh, Nathan, you're you're on a health kick now. I know why you're turning in, tuning in. <laughs> That's good. Woohoo! I mean, who ever thought you could turn? Sweet potato into rice. 
in my opinion, this is one of our best tools out there. And look at this, look at this. Yeah, buddy. I keep looking at it, it's so orange. And it's so foreign to me to see something this orange. <clears throat> I'm used to seeing carrots graded. And <laughs> I look at it and it's like, it looks like carrots, but it's not carrots, it's orange. 40 pounds! Good day in the morning. Good for you, boyfriend. That's awesome sauce. Look at this. This is so incredible. This tool is amazing. It's called a salad chopper. I want it to be, I want it to look like rice. So I'm being, doing my due diligence. Okay, let's see. I'm giving ten more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, in the South, we put an extra. Hey, Marlene. In the South, we put an extra syllable in every word, so it's not ten. It's ten. <laughs> but look at this, guys. Look. We got rice. We got sweet potato rice. All right. So I've already, wow, this is so cool and so light, so light. <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. So I've done, wow, that's a lot. Spiralize the sweet potatoes with the spaghetti blade on the veggie spiralizer. Place the potatoes on a cutting board, working in batches. Coarsely chop the sweet potatoes with a chef's knife until the rice, until it's the size of rice. Skip that whole process with this bad boy. <laughs> you need it. Okay. Now heat the oil in an executive non-stick skillet over medium heat three to five minutes or until simmering. Well, it's, it's not exactly non-stick, but we'll see how it goes. All right, cool beans. So I'm using coconut oil. Gonna heat that up. See if I can turn this up. Potatoes and rice together sounds like carb overload. <laughs> well, I guess I was kind of wrong saying it was low carb since it's sweet potatoes, but it's not any rice. We made the sweet potato into the rice, Mr. Mark Benda. Okay, so we're gonna heat the oil. Oh, while that's happening, and it seemed to be happening fast. <laughs> um, I'm going to attempt to demonstrate. Hey, Maury! Yay! It's Taco Tuesday. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to attempt to um, show off this fancy Pampered Chef um, can opener, which is... Um, Kid friendly, left hand friendly, it doesn't actually touch your food. Um, but it is a little tricky until you get used to it. Because it doesn't actually cut, it lifts. Can't, all right, let me see. So it has this little magnet here. All right, y'all ready? hot diggity. It's so weird because uh, growing up we had the electric um, can opener and it was the one mm, 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 
you know, I'm, I'm old. So, um, and then I wanted to save counter space, so I used the one that cuts in, and then it gets all food, gross, rusty, ick. So this is the new and improved. Does not touch your food, does not have a blade. It kind of, actually, I need to think, <coughs> it, like, it lives on the outside. Okay, so now it's done. I think, let me see. I think it is. Lord have mercy. Maybe it isn't. Let me try. Okay, there I went. I'm new at this. <laughs> oh, my camera's so fancy. Oh, yes. I wish you could see. So it, it like trims it on the outside. You can use this little gadget. <gasps> see what I mean? So it's not, this is not sharp. This is not sharp. There you go, we got the handy dandy, fancy kid friendly. And you know, there are stats that if you have your child in the kitchen before the age of eight, they are more likely as an adult to cook five home, uh, five meals from scratch at home when they get older. That's significant. I think that's a good parent thing. All right, the oil has melted. And we are going to place, we're going to heat the oil. Uh, heat three to five minutes or until shimmering. It's all our shimmering. <laughs> Randy, Randy. Hey, doll. I'm making Mexican sweet potato rice. So I saw you were at a Mexican restaurant yesterday, right? Did you have tacos? <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. But this um, 40 pounds loser, this is a good alternative, Mr. Nathan. <laughs> okay, so, oh, it's shimmering, it's shimmering. And the potatoes, the beans, the corn, the broth, the cilantro, the juice, and the salt. Oh my God. Here's the potatoes. Ooh. There's the potatoes. Pamper Chef Better Bowl, Batter Bowl. Indispensable tool. Okay. The beans. I got the all measuring cup, one cup of beans. Okay, I'm gonna do one cup of corn. Mmm. The broth. Oh, I mean, so here's. Um, I have a cup of broth. Uh oh, I should have done the chomp of cilantro. One juice of wine. I need the Pamper Chef one. It's a big, badass one. This one's a little small. I'm still new. I'm still new. But I'm going to get all the good stuff. One juice of lime. Woo! That's squirty. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm, 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 mm. Do y'all like these so far? Yeah, baby, yeah. 
Awesome sauce. Oh yeah. Uh oh. John and I are the messiest cooks ever. <laughs> okay. And the potatoes, the beans, the corn, the broth, cilantro. All right. So I have already rinsed the cilantro, but I have not chopped it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Do it like this. If you do not have this chopper or this sparalyzer, you need it. Do you see how this tool is incredible? Woohoo! All right, all right, all right. We're having healthy Mexican food on Taco Tuesday. Hey, Puddin. Glad you could join the party. We're having some fun now. Oh, Johnny Angel got this. This is his lucky spatula down in Louise. Hey, Tracy, in uh, Louisiana from one of a, a million old trees. So he uses this when we go on the chili cookouts. All right, let's see what we got. Making Mexican rice. It looks good. Can you see it? <laughs> I should have brought a burner over here. Sorry, guys. I'm still learning. I only have it on seven. Let me see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. So once this heats up, and I did use coconut oil. Oh, this looks good. It does look like, I can't, it looks like carrots, but it's not. It's sweet potatoes. <laughs> But, oh my heavens, this is so healthy. Hope it tastes good. So far, so good, guys. Can you see that? Mmm. All right, and we keep stirring. How long does it do it for? <laughs> Cook for four to five minutes. Oh, I didn't add any salt, which I do like salt. So I'm going to add some salt. Would you get, would y'all fix this? If, would y'all eat this? Yay. All right, let me do it. I only have it turned up to seven and a half. A little bit of salt. All right. I like pepper. Especially when it's tell a cherry pepper. Mmm. It'll be good for breakfast with eggs. Oh, I think there'll be leftovers, honey. That's a great idea, Randy. That's a great idea. Do you like to cook, Randy? I didn't used to, but I do now. Especially if I'm cooking and I get to hang out with my friends. Oh, which is, yay, I would totally eat it. this. I wish we lived closer. Me too, Lisa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's Taco Tuesday. Okay, I know it's not tacos. But a lot of people eat rice with their tacos. <laughs> Johnny Angel used to do most of the cooking too, Randy. We made a deal. He was to do that. Okay, it's something up. It looks like rice. I mean, I have, this is amazing. It's really good. You're not going to believe it. It doesn't need cheese. 
Wow. What a shocker. I can't believe it. It's delicious. Alright, 45 minutes and I want to overcook it. Who wants mushy food, right? I'm going to turn it down. Oh my hell, it's a Betsy. This is exciting. This is good. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Does it look good to y'all? <laughs> mm. So next, you're going to top it with um, some a plum tomato seeded and chopped. I don't mind the seeds. Um, so I'm going to just chop it on up. Right here, right here. With my Pampered Chef knife that came in my kit. It feels really good in the hand. Somebody gave me a testimony that they love their knives that they got. Yes. Okay. And we're gonna do this. I'm gonna chop them up. I made a lot of salsa. I know how to do this, but I am online. I don't want to cut my fingers because I'm seeing many of my chili bunnies and salsa bunnies cut their fingers and then have to leave the chili cook off and they come back and they miss their competition. They got stitches. I don't want that on live TV. Hey, Steph. So I'm going to... I'm going to roughly chop the tomatoes. Here we go. I'm so excited. This has really turned out good. So if you're on a healthy diet and um, you know what? Johnny Angel was so surprised when I first served him spaghetti with marinara sauce and it was just um zucchini noodles that i steamed in the microwave with some great seasonings he really really liked it and it was delicious okay hey guys i um i'm having trouble with my connection it's weak tonight i almost um aborted so it looks like i'm don't have much time but I want to show you that we can eat healthy too mm. so here is Mexican sweet potato rice I'm, I'm hungry so I'm gonna add a little bit more mm. yum there's no cheese in this it has a lot of good flavor Chomp it with some chopped tomato. <laughs> okay, let me get a fork. Oh my god. Do you think it might be the a Rachel Ray someday? Maybe. <laughs> Here we go, it's Taco Tuesday, and we're having Mexican sweet potato rice. Let's see what it's like. Hey, Cindy. <sighs> Let me see if you can see it. Mm. It definitely tastes Mexican, and I didn't even add any cumin. No hot sauce, so it's not spicy at all, guys. Ton of flavor, which sweet potatoes do have a ton of flavor. I know, honey. I'm sorry, I have a bad connection this evening. Can you see me now? Mmm, <laughs> oh my God. The black beans, the sweet potato, tomatoes, so, oh, the lime. 
I highly, highly recommend it. <laughs> Thank you, Tracy, for tuning in, sweetheart. This is easy peasy. <laughs> oh my God, so good. Johnny, I think even Johnny Angel's gonna like it. <laughs> you can get this recipe on my website, pamperedchef.biz slash Annette Daly. Sweet potato rice from the Mexican version. All right, guys. It's been fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you join me next Tuesday. Mmm. And in the meantime, peace, love, and hot stuff, baby. See you next week, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Mwah!